What is up everybody and welcome back to another tutorial video here for me. This is my version 2 of my how to set up your Blue Yeti microphone with Audacity, Audacity to get the best audio quality possible. So in my first video I of course gave you a tutorial and it seemed like it was quite popular so but I have since then made some changes to my tutorial, or not my tutorial, my setup, and um, I of course still have the Blue Yeti, and I still record with Audacity, as you can see, but I have changed something on the Blue Yeti, and uh, here in Audacity as well. And uh, here is a picture of my Blue Yeti from the backside, and uh, as you can see, my pattern is still set on that little blue on a blue on that little apple or what looks like an apple in the back and um, that does so your blue yeti will only record from the front it has three microphones in it and this does so it only records from the front and then i have set the gain all the way down to the lowest possible because this microphone is very very sensitive and uh, it catches sound from yeah pretty much anywhere and um, I record this upstairs and if my girlfriend is talking downstairs with the old settings or if you just have unboxed the microphone and set it up it will catch all those sounds and it's pretty damn annoying plus it records a lot of this little background noise that you can get rid of here in Audacity, but for me it's a 50-50 chance if it messes up the audio or not. Sometimes it doesn't do anything and other times it does something weird with the audio where it's, it sounds like you're talking and yeah, I can't really explain what, but it sounds very, very weird. So that's what's my setting for the Blue Yeti itself. Now we have or we go over to Audacity and um, the only setting I actually have have set or have changed in here is the microphone volume up here I know it's it's on Danish but I have it on 0 0.8 I think you can mix it in between 0 0.7 or 0 0.9 but if I go up to the highest it would catch too much of that background noise which we don't want so if you basically do this you get the same audio quality as I have and I think I have found a pretty good solution right now for the audio I have changed and changed and look for new solutions and changed and changed and now I think I have finally found the right spot so if I found something else, I will of course keep you updated. But anyways, that was it for this short tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please give a like and subscribe and uh, have a nice day. Bye.